going guys my name is Lucas and welcome back to Schizophobia. I haven't posted a video for a while so we're going to kick things off with a quick Watch Dogs overview. Obviously there's only seven days left till the game is actually released um, so this is basically just a quick look at some of the things that may be on. So Ubisoft have recently released a new 101 trailer for the game which basically breaks down the game and puts it into a nine minute video but what we want to know is what is this game really like. I mean obviously you've seen all the best bits they always show the best bits of games and trailers things like that. Um, so yeah, it shows gameplay of you, um, Aiden Pears is able to hack like almost everything, so it's like ATMs, traffic lights, cars, but what else can you actually hack? I mean, they haven't actually said everything, which leads me to believe that you may find yourself repeating certain situations hacking-wise over and over again, and basically what I mean by this is there will come a point in the game where there's simply nothing else left to hack, you know. I mean, I know there comes a point in every game where you kind of everything kind of comes to a stop and you're doing things over and over again you probably probably happened to you in GTA 5 um, but yeah there will come a point in this game where you've done everything um, however it's you know it's just speculation and there may still be things that you don't know um, just yet that they haven't actually told anyone um, so yeah there's that also the open world um, side of things as RPGs go this is absolutely incredible um, obviously the environment is amazing, the detail of the put into the environment is amazing in Chicago. Um, in terms of the size of the map, um, which is probably on your mind at the moment, I'm not actually too sure, I don't know if this has been confirmed just yet, it may have been but I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, it, the size of the map, obviously the bigger the map you will obviously think, oh the bigger the better, but this isn't always the case in games like this. Um, the size of the map on GTA was absolutely huge and obviously they haven't put a massive amount of detail into that game, whereas in a game like Watch Dogs, where the map may be a little bit smaller, they have the chance to add a hell of a lot more detail, um, such as um, you know the actual environment itself, uh, loads more detail into little things like the grass, the pavement. It may not seem huge, but when you look at the game as a whole, it makes a massive difference. Um, also, the, it shows that in the 101 trailer there is countryside as well. We haven't seen a lot of the countryside uh, just yet, but that'll be something to look forward to. Um, moving on to the combat now, um, basically it combines combines cover-based third-person shooters with stealth and parkour mechanics. This basically means um, it's a bit of GTA thrown in there, classic combat um, situations with obviously weapons, guns, things like that. But you've also got a bit of um, classic free roamer abilities. You know, you can, you can free run. Uh, you know, obviously stealth is used a lot in this game. So yeah, there's that. Also moving on to the weapons, um, this has also been on people's minds. Weapons and ammo can be purchased from stores or picked up from killed enemies um, around Chicago and the weapons range from combat handguns, shotguns and 50 cal sniper rifles and you can also craft ID explosives. Now the weapons isn't a huge part of the game I've got to say because um, obviously it's the main part of the game is obviously, obviously hacking um, which is what we're all excited for. Um, so yeah there's that. Moving on to the vehicles now, this is it's probably the final thing that people have uh, been talking about and that are kind of most interested about. Um, so basically Ubisoft have confirmed 65 completely different vehicles in this game, each with their own unique uh, physics. This basically means, you know, obviously speed, um, yeah, acceleration, all, all the typical things you would find in something like that. Um, and these can range from kind of exotic vehicles like the one you're seeing now. Actually, the one you're seeing now isn't that exotic, but there, there are sports vehicles. There's also big heavy wagons that you can drive. There's ambulances, police vehicles. It's all very exciting stuff. I'm really excited for that. Um, the, one of the things that got me with this game is the fact that aircraft cannot be flown. This has been confirmed by Ubisoft. Um, aircraft are not going to be able to be flown in the game. Uh, this is unfortunate because uh, in the 101 trailer obviously it did show a helicopter um, flying through the street of Chicago and I was thinking at this point oh brilliant you know we're gonna be able to to fly around we're gonna be able to fly through Chicago but no has been confirmed we will not be able to do this however you will be able to uh, drive boats so that's pretty much all the questions uh, that you've been asking us and that have been on your mind so thank you for watching guys if this helped in any way um, don't forget to like the video, give the video a like, it does help a hell of a lot, and uh, be sure to leave a comment as well if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching guys, this has been Lucas from Schizophobia.